What's going on, Minecraft fans? My name's Luke the Notable. And I'm the Tors. And in this video, we're going to be playing 200 Days of Minecraft. Together! Last time, we slayed the Ender Dragon. And this time, we're going to kill the Wither. Do we gotta? Yep, and we're gonna, right now, with day number one. Well, it's actually day 101, but it's been so long, it might as well be day one. The original backup is totally gone, and we lost about 10 days of footage when we started recording this months ago. We moved, got two new computers, had a baby, and built another highway. That's all. Speaking of, if you hear any babies in the background, yeah, that's that's Holly. She's enrolled in the very exclusive notable daycare. Let go of the mic! No! Holly! Chop, chop, we got a town to build and cats to find. Let's get to it. We're doing a lot of digging right now, working on expanding our town even farther. Luke, together we could move a mountain. Oh, that's it's cute. We mined through the night, but yeah, pretty much moved a mountain today. But look at all this new land, so much room for profits, and our town will look beautiful too. And yes, I think granite's beautiful. Guys, he'd still be using cobblestone if it wasn't for me, and we had a lot of granite. Oh yeah, that trim's looking real nice. Tors is quite the foreman. We're not really sure what's gonna go in this new partition, but having the space is important. Once we get an idea, we can put it there. We were able to get a few lights up. We had to. Zombies kept spawning. Oh, but I handled it. Before construction begins on anything, you know I gotta build a wall. Again with the walls. It's gonna be big and not made out of cobblestone. Leave me alone. Meanwhile, I was me-proofing this nearby chasm. I knew I would fall in eventually. I tried to show her there was no real danger. I jumped in, did a 360, and only took three hearts. I like it up here better. Still walling here. It's tough. I want it to at least to look a little bit natural. But I guess it's gonna be a little tough to make it look natural with such a sheer carve right there. I'll do my best. This ain't my first wall. It's definitely not done, but it's got a shape, and I think a door could go perfectly in the middle. And I I think I might flex my redstone knowledge and make a piston door. Totally easy, didn't struggle in the slightest. He didn't tell me what he was doing and I didn't ask, so I made myself busy. Oh look, a house. Well, you did help keep the phantoms off my back at night, and now we've got a piston door. A what? But with that piston door, now the wall isn't really a wall anymore because monsters can run through it. So today I installed a lock. It didn't take very long. I've built one of these before. There's even an emergency button, so if you end up locked out, you can get in with the press of a button. Luke was pretty proud to show me what he made, but I don't have the heart to tell him that I'll never use it. It's pretty likely that even I won't use this door all that often. We really don't leave the town. Why leave? There's so much to do, and this trader's about to sell me some beats. And there's still a lot more wall work. It looks fantastic, but skeletons still spawn on top. I'm not able to show the rest of this clip for fear of it being demonetized, but I want you to know that this skeleton died a painful and very gruesome death. This, this is a wall. Good job, honey. You know I live to serve you. So, uh, we're done with the walls now? If it is your will. We've had quite a lot of lag walking around town, and I think I know what the problem may be. Well, I don't know any problem that can't be solved with multiple explosions. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? No, sir, no, sir. I've been murdered. So now the lag is fixed, and we've got a nice new hole filled with sheep for our next project. It's gonna be an auto sheep farm, should provide plenty of profits, but not much lag. I built one of these in the super flat video, put one in in my creative house. This is not my first time. You gotta remember, it's been a long time since Tors and I played on this world. Both of our Minecraft skill has gone up supremely. Even though today Tors was AFK in the town and some zombies attacked her. I took control of her character, saved her. She's lucky she has me. Day 112, a trader showed up, but he didn't have anything good, so I ordered my bodyguard to kill him. Then it was back to profits and beautification for both of us. I moved the auto smelter today, was just in a bad spot. Had to make room for this thing, which we totally have a plan for. I mean it. After putting our heads together a little bit, day 113, we present to you a vault. Bank. Oh, it's a vault, all right. A vault for you. We started on some offices. Mine is quite cozy. I Still didn't know what building I was in, apparently. Hey, why does your office have a cauldron? Yours doesn't. About done here, and lava trap. Day 114, I fixed Torz's his bow. I keep telling her that mending is the way. And I keep telling him to mind his own business. Other than that, I'm still hard at work on the sheep farm. I think 10 should be enough. And day 115, I got the 10th sheep in. It's done. Well, it's not done, but the depressing part's done. I'll be changing our town's entire sheep infrastructure by the time this is over, and this shepherd will definitely have to go. Rest in peace, sheep. I didn't know he was go this far. On a happier note, it's just me on day 116 because Luke wasn't recording. Surprise, surprise. And today I was cleaning up after my husband, as always. But later when I was admiring my cats, I was attacked by a horde of zombies. Luckily, I was able to escape to the bank vault. Vault bank? 
Whatever it is, it came in handy. Day 117, I found a villager hiding underneath our floorboards and evicted him with lava. You haven't seen what I've been doing for a day and that's probably a good thing because it's quite the mess. I'm trying to get the auto sheep farm to output wool to our storage room. I've done this before in creative, but never like this. Well, that sounds boring. Let's see what Tors is doing. I'm on a dangerous quest for the only things that really matter in life, cats and flowers. So I found a few, but none were new. Got attacked and lost a cat. On to the next village. Time to pillage. Took me the rest of the day to get back. This is what I get for rhyming. I've been living inside of the walls for like three days now, and right as I got the whole system working, the game crashed. That was pretty disheartening, but didn't take too much more time to fix. Now I'm expanding the storage. Honestly, this is all a very inefficient way to keep storage, but eventually we want to make a whole new house entirely, so for now, we can go with this. And I'm not sure how this happened, but today one of the villagers got infected. He's got lights, his door is shut, beats me. Well, one positive for all of this is now we have a cured weapon Smith that'll sell us some nice deals. And with the auto sheep farm done and tons of money on the way, I'm working on a new project. I'm making a really good axe for Tors. She has to euthanize so many cats, she needs a good one. Meanwhile, I was making my own present for Luke. Dolphin meat! But this, this was just for fun. Day 121, I'm going back to the villager breeder for more atrocities. I'm trying to get a shepherd to buy both white and black wool for maximum profit potential. Got him! Didn't take too long, that's a pretty common trade. Had more time in the day, so dug this menacing looking pit for villager infection. Most of the inner workings will be underground, Tors would never let me build something this ugly. Meanwhile, I was wrapping up some loose ends at our first house. I could talk about what I'm doing today, but it's honestly pretty boring, and you probably wouldn't be interested. Good thing I was doing something interesting. What a great day to exist. So I decided to collect my first cat from the cauldron. This pussy straight from hell. I see I've come back too early. Next time I'll send a chat first. Don't worry, I was productive that day, just had to wait till night to work on the breeder. Luke's doing very important things, but boring things. Want to come on an adventure with me? Of course, I'm looking for flowers and felines, but first I need fish. At first, I thought the day would include more than just fishing. But once I got started on snuffing out their tiny little lives, I found it hard to stop. Something about the ease of putting them down with one single swing was just so satisfying. So anyway, where'd the day go? I made my way back home. Hey, she used the door! My door! I'm still deep underground working on the villager infector, but hopefully this should be the last day of construction. And right here's the finished output tunnel. When a villager gets infected, I can put it right back in the breeder. Of course, I'm still on the road looking for cats. Really towns, because that's where the cats are. When I came back, Luke claimed he was catching zombies. This can't be good for the villagers. Horrible for the villagers, but great for our profits. Here I'm infecting a shepherd that buys black and white wool. Tors watch the whole thing. She's an accomplice. I was never here. I saw nothing, I swear. Hmm, kind of weird how I have some footage of you curing the villager. Yeah, cured after you infected them. No matter what gets said in court, I'm gonna be in the infector for a few days. This is a long process. Don't want anything to despawn. On my adventure, I found a prairie town with great potential. And I'll clean up anything for cats. A barn on top of a leather worker inside of a mountain? This'll do. <sighs> and I never thought I'd say this, but there's a lot of monsters. I need a wall. I'm still working on boring infrastructure, day 127, but Tors wasn't recording, so this is what you gotta watch. Sorry. Anyway, I got a shepherd today. He'll buy black and white wool for one emerald each, and with the auto wool farm, that's a lot of money. You know, I don't know what happened to the other guy. He probably just left on his own. Getting the shepherd in there, I had to hit him several times, so now the price is at two, but it'll come back down. And this is only the beginning. With that villager infector, I'm gonna make some real changes around here. Villager trades, especially infected ones, are pretty OP. You get tons of emeralds, and experience points for better gear. I also worked on a new light design today. Things keep spawning and it's just annoying. Yeah, I had to stay in town for the profits, so I fixed up a lot of things we've been neglecting. And Tours was doing fine, thanks for asking. Now that money's really starting to roll in, we can afford lanterns and I can get rid of these birthday candles. You can always tell someone's starting to get rich when they eat golden carrots. Tours' axe is coming along good too. Efficiency five, unbreaking three, and mending, but there's still more to do. It needs sharpness five. Like I said, she kills a lot of cats and I don't want him to feel pain. But at this point, I just need levels to make the axe, so I worked on maintaining the sheep farm. It's the backbone of our economy. Finally, a cat I don't have to kill. Let me add him to the collection. I think I'm up to eight now. Uh, another night sleeping without tours. I wonder if she misses me. What a great day. Time to cuddle with my new cat. I hope Luke is doing good. I miss Tors, but she's far away in her cat town, so if she's gonna visit, she's gotta do it by force. After doing the journey to the cat town myself, I don't really blame her anymore. It's about 1,500 blocks through some dense terrain. Though eventually, you do hit a prairie, and then you can't miss it. Wow, a lot of zombies here. I could really use a wall. Hello? Tors, you here? 
Uh, I'm here! Hello! Oh, Luke's gonna be so surprised, and I can't wait for him to meet Snowball. Huh, Luke's gone. That's not very notable of him. Guess it's time for me to become a crazy cat lady. Once I realized she wasn't here, I set up the portal and got to digging. 1,500 blocks in the nether really doesn't take that long. When we finally reunited, she gave me a flower. Aren't I lucky? Bright and early the next morning, I went to work on a new portal. The first one I made was pretty sloppy. She's really not too far for another portal. This should only take about a day. Until I realized that I'm off by like two blocks. The quick fix is a staircase, but my girl deserves better. Damn right, I'm the Tours. With this new nether highway, now I can visit my wife on her quest for more cats, which makes me happy. Though we may have to figure out something here, she tried to bring a cat home and broke the whole auto sheep farm. Hmm, seems like a flaw in your design. My cats are perfect. Oh, and meet my new spade, David Spade. And when I finally got to my cat town, I found a Binks. He only cost two fish. Easy to please. He's home, he's named, he's official. And Luke's already taking out the rest. Just embezzled some cobblestone. Time to build a wall. Luke would be so proud of me. When I heard Torres was building a wall, I rushed over as fast as I could with lanterns. I just had to see it. Just so you know, I'm very proud of you. She's got a lot of land out here. When the wall's done, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Time for more profit, villagers. I need money! Today I'm making a stone cutter, and soon we'll be able to turn rocks into emeralds. Add this to the wool profit, and maybe it won't take a whole month to make a perfect axe. You feeling okay down there? A little shaky or something? You need some water? <laughs> now that he's done, every piece of smooth stone that we produce makes one emerald. Oh yeah, our enchanting ability is about to take off. Please don't talk to your family, it'll only make the separation harder. I had to take most of day 138 just setting up tracks to get him in, he's pretty far from the breeder. Several cats were harmed in the process, don't tell Tors. At least he went in willingly, I didn't have to hit him once. It's gonna cost me 39 levels, but finally, Tors' axe is done. The axe is so powerful it actually can't be renamed. I got a flower in return for it, fair deal. Hit me, babe. Hit me hard. Bonk. Huh. Thought that would do a little more. Bonk. Okay, you've used the axe. It definitely works. Now I gotta heal. Bonk. It's safe to say she likes the axe, but I'm gonna leave before she kills me. I did a lot day 140 and started by kidnapping a farmer. The dividends are already insane with the villagers I have, but the farmer will just add to them. And the whole point of this was to make some insanely OP gear with all of the XP that I get from the trades. Here I'm making Tors a new pickaxe. <laughs> then I let the infection set in. The virus has been great for my profits. While the working class suffers, I've only gotten richer. <laughs> Next, I go to space. That farmer's looking good. It's almost time to stop the torture. Farmers buy pumpkins for insanely good prices, so I'm gonna put an auto pumpkin farm below his hut. It won't be too big, but it doesn't need to be if I'm working with a cured farmer. Cat Town construction is going well. Rent's about to go up. Way up. Sir, this is a gated community. We do not allow the undead here. I'm still working on my auto pumpkin farm built underground to look nice and avoid taxes. It works. I've already made one pumpkin, but I've got to get them up to the surface. Eh, it shouldn't take too long. I've got a lot better at redstone since my creative video. And after a very productive day, I found the perfect spot to watch the sunset. If only Luke were here. Well, Taurus forgot to record for the next few days, so it looks like you're gonna be watching me make a pumpkin farm. I should say a pumpkin delivery system. The farm's complete. This is just where the pumpkins will spit out. Pumpkins are made underground, shot up to the surface, and sold right in the same spot. Oh yeah, it's real ugly, but that's why it lives in the basement, like your mom. I'm trying to make it as pretty as possible. There will be no industrial vibes in our town. I keep thinking how great it would be to have some melons. I could literally double my profit down here. But hey, at least I got everything working today, even if it does look pretty ugly. Well, buddy, it's sad to see you go, but I have to say I feel almost nothing doing this. I want to point out, technically, I didn't murder him. He caught on fire and then burned to death, which was not my fault. Welcome home, Jebediah. You feel a ghostly presence, you say. I'm sure it's nothing. Every pumpkin that's produced makes one emerald, and if I ever get melons, that's even more. Plus, golden carrots, just a great upgrade. You know, for now, I think I'm done on money-making methods. I'm already pretty rich, and I think I need new armor. And with all my money, villagers, and XP, it didn't take very long to get some nice protection mending diamond armor. Later I checked on tours at the cat town. I wanted to see how she was doing. She finally found a spot for us both to sleep in the cat town, which made me feel a lot more at home. Get out, villager. This is our land now. I thought we should go with a loft bed design, keeps the floor plan open, and keeps villagers from sleeping in our bed. We had to move a little bit of roof, but working together, this didn't take too long. So comfortable! My neck, it's twisted in all the right ways! We didn't get to sleep in the loft bed the first night, but I think that's solid construction. A job well done. Bright and early day 147, I had Taurus test out my new protection armor. Bonk. And then I had a great idea. Well, half of a great idea. There's absolutely nothing on this side of town, and I'm putting down some nether 
Netherrack Foundation as placeholders. We still have no idea what's gonna go here, but getting rid of that Netherrack is gonna be good motivation to think of an idea. Wow, honey, it's really ugly. This is motivating. I hate it. I was just farming day 148 when Taurus viciously attacked me. I had my reasons. Later, I made a map. Not a big one, but who doesn't love maps? It's nice, but you can really see those Netherrack boxes. We gotta think of something quick. Taurus feels very similarly. I think we have an idea for at least something to go over by the Netherrack boxes. A cartographer! The town's got a hut for every single type of villager except a cartographer. I can't believe we didn't think of this before. You're just so insignificant and useless you didn't even cross our minds. And with some light physical violence, the town is complete. We've got one of every villager. Oh, the town will never be complete. We're immortal on this world. I guarantee eventually you'll see Taurus 1000 days. Though as the town becomes more final, I'm doing a little bit more work on finalizing those roads. Oh no, a sick villager! And there's no doctor! I'm sort of a doctor! I walked her through making a potion from start to finish because every girl loves to be mansplained. Well, I guess the infected villager died. Time to do what I do best. Kill cats. You may not believe this, but on day 151, I'm tearing down some wall. Of course, it was for new, better wall. Gotta protect those bees. Now, you may have seen this structure at certain points during this video and were wondering what it was. It's the observatory. It was built during those 10 days or so that we lost forever. And tonight, we're burning it down. <coughs> I have a bit of a history with fire, so I'm just gonna sit this one out and observe. Yes. Burn. The observatory was mostly my idea anyway, so it's probably fair that Taurus just got to watch. And honestly, you don't really need an observatory. The view from up here is already pretty notable. Of course, some things cannot burn, so day 152 was spent cleaning up the last little bits. I worked on more roads today. They're actually starting to look decent. Meanwhile, I went on an adventure and found some flowers and got la la lost. Don't get me wrong, I had a map. I just got lost in the flowers. Well, Taurus has been gone for three minutes. Time to start ripping out the walls. We're in desperate need of some sort of disposal system. We have tons of trash and I built one today. Oh, of course I mansplained it to Taurus when she got home. And that night we got a woodland explorer map from the cartographer for a new adventure together. It's probably gonna take a while to get there but we're hoping to find a jungle on the way for some jungle wood and melons. We tried to stay as close as possible but as you can see this terrain was pretty rough. Even so I wasted no opportunity to show off in front of my wife. Cool! Though once night hit we met a hilly forest and somehow got separated. Taurus would like me to inform you that she doesn't want to talk about what happens next, so I'll do the honor. Like I said, we got separated, and in that commotion, Taurus forgot to eat. And in the forest, she was surprised by a witch who poisoned her. Now, the poison wouldn't kill her. She was left on half a heart, but a skeleton, a skeleton might. When it happened, I was nowhere near her. Like I said, we got totally lost, and I looked until morning for her items, but they were just gone. So day 155 is about a week real time from the incident, and Taurus will not be joining us for a few days. I don't blame her. She was real upset about losing that axe. I gave her. And David Spade. I knew she'd respawn in our bedroom in town, so I put a little chest in there and filled it with some good items for when she returned. I have a plan that'll surely get her to come back. I'm gonna go to the end. I'm gonna be honest, she never really liked the end anyway, so this is probably our best opportunity to get the loot. Oh, she'd come back no matter what, but with some elytras, that'd be even better. You may have seen my video of surviving 100 days in the end, so it's safe to say I'm an expert now. And after bridging over to the Outer End Islands, I'm ready to find me some loot. I very quickly found one small end city and conquered it almost immediately. Immediately. I've done this without armor, weapons, or even tools, so when you're fully kitted, it's really not that hard. All of day 158, I found no elytras, but plenty of shulkers, so at least there's that. After a few days of nothing, I went back to the end island and decided to use one of the end gateways. Really should have started with that, it teleported me right to an end city with an elytra. Like I said before, I'm hecka strong, so it didn't take too long to get the good stuff. I'm also hecka smart and brought rockets, so I was able to get another nearby elytra. Actually, I got three elytras. I don't even need that many. Just lucky. I think most conveniently when I flew back to the portal and jumped in, I was teleported right back home. I then put mending on the elytras, made some shulker boxes, and even replaced Taurus's fishing rod. And soon this rainy day of not playing with Taurus will end. I can't wait. Well, thanks, I died again. Borrowed one of your lives. Get well soon. That doesn't even make sense. At least his heart was in the right place. Well, back to the grind, I guess. Oh, hey. I missed you. I missed the axe you gave me. And so will the cats. So I wasn't recording for this, but I smacked the heck out of Binks and had to heal him day 160. Most of the day I just followed around Taurus. I hope she doesn't mind. I just missed her. It had been so long since we slept in a bed together. It was just all around a good day. And I just got a really good idea, but I'm gonna have to facilitate some breeding first. Don't mind me. I'll just be in the corner here watching. I've also got to replace this cartoon.
photographer, Torres killed the first one because he sold us the map. Justice. Eh, I think this one's a little better anyway. He sells item frames, which is always convenient. Sorry I didn't do much. I'm still figuring out what to do with my life. Day 163, the netherrack is being removed. I've got an idea. While I worked on the frame of this new building, Torres worked on the facade of the wall. Yeah, I'm just doing my best to make it look as pretty as I can. Luke had the idea to build a library here, and I love it. It felt great to finally put something in this area, and when we're done, I think the village will be more or less complete. Oh, no Minecraft build is ever complete, but at least the village won't have any dead space. In the library, of course, we'll have a bunch of really awesome librarians with some really great enchantments, and this one has silk touch. So maybe in the future, if one of us ever dies and loses all our items, we can replace them very quickly. For the record, I do not appreciate this shade one bit. So now begins the incredibly riveting process of trying to get the best enchantments. I got two of them in today, but one isn't working, and the other only sells one enchantment, so I might have to cleanse these guys. But I got one that sells infinity. Tors is gonna like that. Using these librarians, I was able to make a replacement bow for Tors. She lost it when she died, and she's been sad ever since. Wow, thank you so much. You're so sweet and kind and handsome. And with every new day, I get better and better librarians for better and better enchantments. The first one I put in there still refuses to work, but soon unemployment will run out, and then he'll die. This whole town is becoming quite the machine to produce some of the best gear in Minecraft, and it's really gonna help us in the future. Gotta have good gear with all these cats offsetting my efficiency! No. I didn't touch any of the cats today, why would you say that? If anyone's wondering how I'm doing, I've just been mining. That's what I do after I die. Today I'm farming up some dark oak trees. We got some saplings from a wandering trader, but weren't recording. It took all day because I did it sustainably, but you gotta love that dark oak. By the end of the day, I had enough saplings for a permanent dark oak tree, and it was a big one. Must have been a long day. Tors and Binks were waiting for me in bed. It's day 169, so I gave Luke some sugar. And I gave Tors some milk. I decided to follow her into the mine today, see what she was up to. I helped my pickaxe has silk touch so I can fill in her holes nicely. I also helped her deal with a little bit of lava. You know how she feels about that stuff. All in all, it was a great day 169. We went to bed early. And day 170, all I did was look at Luke. What a great day. It was a great day. Lots of profits and I'm finally getting pretty close to finishing out the librarians. However, before bed, I stopped for a little interior decorating. I'm not sure how long these corn flowers have been sitting on the ground. Yeah, that looks a little nicer. I don't think Tor's even noticed. More librarianing. Is that even a word? Well, anyway, that's what I'm doing day 171. Got one to sell me efficiency for, so now I can make awesome tools. I'm almost done, but my progress is slowing down. It can take quite a bit of money to get these guys upgraded. And I don't even know what day it is. Where did this go? What happened? And then Luke wasn't recording, so now we're all on Tor's time. And here's Luke now with gifts. Oh, I feel so loved. Tor's is Thorny Tim's. Terrific. Now, Luke, you can show yourself out. I have to mine. I made sure the other librarians were watching when I took out this one for being lazy. Other than that, I did some trim work around the farm we deleted. I have no idea when we got rid of this. I have none of the footage. I just don't know. Things can happen when you go on tours time. Today is a good day. This villager right here, he's gonna sell me sharpness five, which means now I can finally remake Tors' perfect axe. And this time I even got to name it. Then I put it in a nice little package. I was so glad she was gonna get it back. Back from the mine. Oh, what's this? Open it. Tors' is terrible tomahawk? Thanks. Hey, how you liking that new axe? Just need a test bonk. If you really want a test bonk, hit me naked. I think I can take it. Ah! Wow, hon, that's a real strong axe there. You better be careful with that thing. It was in that moment she realized how strong she had become. No longer would she live under his thumb. No, now it will be Tor's time all the time. Thank you, Tors. It was an honor to be killed by you. Being on Tors time really messed us up. The library's now done and I started on a basement. Down here, I'm gonna put a cozy enchanting room, a one-stop shop for all your enchanting needs. Though I did get distracted by all of the awesome gear we can make now. New armor and tools for both of us. The library's done, but construction left quite a mess, so I'm gonna be cleaning that up on day 177. I'm also gonna be changing the doors from oak to dark oak. I think they just look nicer. I'm really not sure when this happened, but now there's a witch where the weaponsmith should be. I'll fix it later. Later. For now, we'll just try not to go in there. I've been working on so much industry, I didn't have any time to make anything look pretty, so I did a lot of that today. And when I came home, my big happy family was already in bed waiting for me. Again, I spent another day beautifying, adding lanterns instead of torches for a premium feel. I did a lot of little things. On top of the well, there were torches, and I've been meaning to slab it for forever and did it today. I also watched Tors make some profits. I was just excited to see her use the library. Luke said we would be fighting the wither soon, so I'm just getting prepared. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell by the amount of milk in my inventory will be fighting the wither. Well, first,
first we'll have to take out some wither skeletons and somehow I convinced Taurus to come with me. No, 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 no. You're coming with me. All right, today's the day. Here's three fire potions just to be safe. The way there is incredibly crude. This is something we'll have to fix in the future. I think this is fine. Luke has little faith in me. Today we took it slow, killed skeletons together. She'd never done it before. It's really not that hard. This game is for children. We took on a bunch of skeletons day 181, but of course got no skulls. It's pretty rare, even with our looting three swords. However, we kept at it and I got the first of the three skulls on day 182. Luke put on the skull and I hit him. Then back to nothing on day 183. But you're gonna have some dry days when you're going for wither skeletons. Day 184, I got mobbed by three of them and came very close to dying. I didn't. Tors is the only thing that can kill me on this playthrough. More nothing day 185, but as you can see, I'm clearing out this area for spawning more wither skeletons. We can use this in the future. Day 186, I got the second skull and I didn't even realize it. And on the very next day, I got the last skull. Aren't I lucky? What's crazy is I built a whole rail system and killed twice the wither skeletons, but she got more skulls than me. Now that we're back and there isn't much time left, we should focus on some more important builds. Like bees. This is one of the original villager farms and it's always been a little ugly, so I think we can get rid of it. Oh yeah, demo day's the best day. We went with a simple design, a little more open concept. I think the bees will be happier here. I made so many bee babies, I just couldn't help myself. No, my children. Hmm, we're gonna have to figure something out here. This is a problem. I put in some campfires that should keep the bees from stinging us. Plus a touch of acacia wood. These bees are looking schnazzy. Day 190, I'm still working on projects that will go hand in hand with our success. Today I'm renovating the fountain. Hey Taurus, do you think this looks too evil? Uh, good for now. We can change it when we get jungle wood, right? That's a good idea. That night we got gunpowder the hard way. It was awful. I don't know what he's talking about. I have so much more gunpowder than him. Yeah, looking back, my footage is pretty reckless. It's no surprise she got more. Inside of the enchanting room, I'm trying to slap together an auto sugarcane farm to make paper. I guarantee it won't produce any meaningful profits in this video, but it will be useful. Yeah, it's not my best work, but I did say I was slapping this bad boy together. And I still have to complete my catalog. So I hit the high seas. No new cats, but I killed tons of creepers. Sugarcane farm is fine. I broke it off camera, but now it's working again. All right, Taurus, today's the day. You're learning to fly. I don't wanna. The flying is actually pretty clean, even though we're on multiplayer because we're playing on a LAN world. The only other time we flew together was on the Notable Craft server, and that was just terrible. Like a baby bird flung from my nest, I broke my neck. Luke says I used too many rockets, but I killed most of the creepers, so he can shove it. In other news, we finally got melon seeds. Thanks, traitor, that I definitely killed right after this. Now that Taurus can fly, it's adventure time. We're mostly looking for a place to fight the wither. And cats, of course. There's a lot of stuff we haven't done in this playthrough through jungles, ocean monuments. There's tons we could still do. Speaking of jungles, we didn't find one, but we did find a ship made out of it, so that's some free jungle wood. Die, jungle wood, I will smite thee. We're gonna stop by this tundra. I've got silk touch and can pick up some ice. Ooh, ooh, nice landing. And after a long day of travel, we stole a villager's home and slept quite comfortably. Taurus went on this journey for cats, but didn't bring any fish, so we had to kill some day 194. Knowing I only had two cats left to collect, I saw one that I didn't have. Nothing will come between me and this cat. Cat. Get over here! Hey, Taurus, you need a black cat, right? Well, one just crossed my path. <laughs> yes! Well, what now? And what's this empty feeling inside? I just want you to know, I'm very proud of you and all your cats. Time to celebrate with some feline fornication. We're still hoping to find a jungle, couple other biomes too, that'd be nice. However, we're getting fairly low on rockets and don't want to get stranded out here for day 200, so we'll go back tomorrow. For tonight, we'll settle in this spruce town. We're going straight back home now, which should only take about a day, and I really hope Tors is behind me. Well, I'm way lost. I don't think he realizes his computer is way better than mine. Hey, that's our first house. It's pretty beautiful from the sky. Never seen it this way. Where am I? And why does the ocean have holes in it? Hey, Tors, you gotta come check out this sunset. It's beautiful. Luke, I'm lost. I'm staying in a villager motel. Here's my coordinates. Come get me. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. You left me. Next time, I'm driving. Yeah, that was my bad. I just got excited. Here's some rockets. After getting home, one of the first things I did was add melons to the auto pumpkin farm for double the profits. Other than that, we're really just trying to prepare for the wither fight, getting all the XP and gear we can. Day 198 will be our last day in town, and I was working on some potions. And I was working on increasing our milk supply. All right, cow family, you stay in there, otherwise you're steak. No one can threaten livestock like you. All right, Binks, wish us luck. Mom and dad are leaving. We kind of figured we'd adventure at the same time. We're going in a new 
direction. We'll fight the wither anywhere. And it was a good thing we did. We found tons of loot on our journey. There's a huge Badlands biome right by where we spawn. That'll be really fun to explore in 300 days. We found a nice little desert town right by the ocean, which will be a great spot to fight the wither. The wither will likely be distracted by all the helpless civilians. That night, we slept well in a tower underneath the stars. All right, Taurus, well, it's day 200. How do you feel? Nervous. Well, like I said, there's quite a bit of bystanders, so the wither should be pretty distracted. All right, let's get this wither spawned. Make yourself a tea for tours. All right, remember, it's going to be very frightening, but you'll be fine. Drink your milk if he hits you. All right, it'll be fine. I don't need it, right? Tell you the truth, I had no idea what was going to happen when she spawned that wither, but I knew I'd probably be okay. Give him all you got, Tars. Shoot those arrows. Oh, is I supposed to bring arrows? I don't have any arrows. All right, we'll just take these and start shooting. Huh. This is really easy. It's not that bad. It's not even bothering me. It's a frightening fight, but we're very well prepared, so he really didn't do that much damage to us. We got him down to one hit here. And I, very heroically, stabbed the wither in the back. Drink that, Malk. You deserve it. And stop trying to fill the holes. These people don't matter. Then we got back home and Taurus placed the beacon. Uh... Well, that's it. We survived 200 days, even though one of us died one time. Anyway, we'll definitely be continuing this series. So thank you all for watching. See you in another 100 days. Stay notable. You're so good at saying that.